Alright, this problem is going to be testing the hypothesis. Um, no, wrong. Inference for two population standard deviation. So that's, you know, two population standard deviations. Um, H naught is that they are the same. H sub 1 is that they are not the same. So that means we're going to have a two-tailed test. And since we're doing it about population standard deviation, you know we're going to do chi-square. So that makes it a lot of fun. Two-tailed chi-square. Um, so let's get going. The, this, this is the information given out of the book. Alpha level 0.05. M sub 1, 16, M sub 2, 16, S sub 1, 3.2, S sub 2, 3.5. Remember S sub 1 and 2 are sample standard deviations, and N's are the sample size. Um, okay, to find the critical value for two sample uh, for two population standard standard deviations, um, it's different than the rest of them that we've done or that you've done. It's it's a little it's just different. Say that. So basically, we're gonna go to table seven. It, that's what it is in my book. I don't know what it is in your book, but it's the it's the F distribution critical values is what it's called. So F distribution critical values. So your F distribution is going to be less than or equal to, oh, there's a fancy, fancy equation for this one. Probably not going to be able to find it now that I want to see it. Basically, this is at 16. Let me back up. This is degrees of freedom over degrees of freedom, not n. So that's n minus 1 sub 2, n minus 1 sub 1. So degrees of freedom is always n minus 1 over degrees of freedom. Uh, I realize it's starting to look ridiculous, but stick with me. So it's 15 over 15, alpha level 0 0.05. That's actually half. So at 0 0.025 of 15 over 15. Now that doesn't sound right, but if you go to F distribution critical value table, you'll find on the top row numbers 1 through God knows what. Find 15. On that side, find 15 over here. 
Now next to this 15, there will be um, different alpha values. So if you find this box in between, find the one that corresponds to, that's 0 0.025, 0 0.025 at 15 and 15, and that gives you 2.86. So this one, 2.86. Now since it's chi-square, it's not symmetrical, so we can't just do negative 2.86. It's not that easy. Um, it's easy, but it's not that easy. So that's for the right side, I believe. Yeah, that's for the right side. The left side is going to be 1 over 2.86. Not too difficult once you make sense of all that. So, our critical values are 1 over 2.86, which equals 0.3497, and 2.86. Get that out of the way. I know it's difficult to understand. It's just as difficult to explain um, to find those critical values. But once you got the system in your head, it's really not. It's easier to do than articulate for me anyway. Um, so now we need to find our test statistic chi-square. Chi-square not equals, it's a tricky one, S sub 1 square, which makes it variance, over variance of 2. So, pretty easy. 3.2 square over 3.5 square is equal to 0.8359. So that's test statistic. And I believe it's called F0. Hell if I know. They use F and they use uh, chi-square. We're just going to call it the test statistic. 0.8359. Horrible use of space over here. Alright. So we just got left to draw our curve. And chi square, something to that effect, two tail. And we got 2.86, critical value on the right, critical value on the left, 0.3497. And test statistic 0.8359 falls somewhere in the middle. So, we fail to reject, so not in the outskirts here. That's our decision. And conclusion. Not sufficient. Nope. To support the claim. Uh, the 
claim was take some more. 